The Sharp Tank. No jumper. Yes, sir, Ski. Sharpest, coolest podcast in the world. And today, got my partner in the building, man. We got Doughboy in the building with us oh, today, really? man. How you feeling, man? I'm feeling great. How are you? I'm feeling good, man. It's a nice yeah. day, man, today. It is. You man, just, man, is. what you just flew in? Yeah, hell yeah. I just got here. Hell yeah. What you just flying from? Um, I actually came here. I had I had some going on with my MGK. Okay. Yeah, we got some. Going that was on. partying. What y'all just did some music or something? I mean, I don't want you to. Yeah, put it it was, all... something like it. Something like it. Yeah. Something like it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Y'all just putting it together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There ain't nothing wrong shit. with that. So you from uh, you grew up in Ohio. Uh huh. Cleveland, born and raised. Yeah. Tell but me what I, that meant. I'm, I'm cap. I wasn't even born there. <laughs> I moved there when I was six months. <laughs> hey, but you still a native though, right? Yeah, nah, for sure. That's your that's your mixture the king, now. That's your man. Goddamn, they know what's going on, man. You see this right here? The Browns custom gave this to me, man. They, they they patched this up. They made this for me, man. And shot yeah. it to you for sure. That's live though. Yeah, hell yeah. Be so, going to the game. Really, really around the city. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. I can't wait till the season start back up. It's yeah. gonna be live, man. Sure. Huh? We going to the Super Bowl. Yeah, we, you think you're going to the Super Bowl? Yeah, we're going to the Super Bowl. You don't think that's a reach? <laughs> nah, hell nah. <laughs> it, it, nah, it's facts. It's facts. It's facts. I'm telling you, we've been getting busy in the offseason. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So before FBG and things like that, you being from Ohio, you know, um, that I know that's where, obviously, you probably started getting into music at, right? Oh, I, I've been doing music my whole life, for, yeah. real, for real. So I, I just, I just say, I just say that's when... Things start really, 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 really picking up for a n- though. Like, like when I when I did the whole free band, like that's in the city. Start looking at me, like, man, what you just signed the future? Yeah. It's still crazy to me to this day. Like, damn, I'm signing the future. Yeah. Like, I don't even be do you feel like sometimes. you feel like the music? Do you feel like you doing music even before that? Do you feel like your music changed now that you didn't sign and you over like yeah, your being, sound? being around him is just like he really. Taught me like everything I know about this music shit for real. Like as far as like, like now I I know how to make a hit single. Like I know how to I know how to make a a a a, a good record. Like so, and it come from being around him. Like just seeing how to just like his whole formula, how he record. Like now nah, I don't write. I ain't wrote a song since I don't know when. Because it come from being around him. Like you gotta keep up or your single be getting on those songs. Be up in there just mm-hmm. punching bar for bar. Yeah, huh? yeah. Like, if you can't keep up, you ain't gonna be able to get on those songs. I <laughs> think I think you know who I think really started that trend, Wayne. The uh, I, the punch in. Feel like yeah, where like he says, man, I stopped writing a long time ago. Like he don't even. And I remember seeing this on him, like on like a documentary or something like that. A long man, this is years ago. He was like, man, I don't. Yeah, he's like, I don't write no more. Yeah, he's it's like it's it's because it's, it's, it's crazy though, because it's really like writing on the mic. Like you just writing on the mic. So it's like you just, you say what you say, stop, think, punch back in. It's like the same exact thing as writing for real. Yeah. You're just speaking it. Hey, I feel like that's true art, right, anymore, is being able to go in there and create. And, mm-hmm. like, for you to say that you even know what it's like to even create a hit single, did you always feel like that? No, like no, when you was coming no. up, like, doing music already? I ain't really, I ain't going to say I knew how. Like, I feel like they about to see what this new album that I'm about to drop next month on 6 9 I hate that they say six nine. I hate saying that. <laughs> I'm talking on six nine. I just hate saying that. Shit, but on June 9th. <laughs> why don't you change the day? You ever mm. thought of that? I, I actually that was I really was supposed to drop on the 16th. I was supposed to drop on the 16th on June 16th. Yeah. I was gonna drop on Pac's birthday. Yeah, I was gonna drop on Pac's birthday, but they uh the label wanted me to move it up a week. They're like, come on, let's 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 come a week. It's a lot going on in the music. I wonder game right why now. why that was though. Like, Cause the the game crowded right now, like everybody dropping. So it's like, we gotta hurry up and and, and get it out the way before we run into somebody we don't want to run into. <laughs> For sure. You say, cause that really do be a problem, huh? Like, yeah. So like like it's a lot of like you gotta think like you got Dirk about to drop, Moneybag about to drop, Kodak about to drop. That's all on one day. So it's just like, when you get into June, you still got two, like, Travis Scott coming. Uzi coming with Uzi that pink coming, tape. Shit like that. I don't yeah. want to run into none of them. I don't no. want no smoke. <laughs> Tell you now. I don't want no trouble. Not with them type of That shit ain't nuh-uh. Get me on out the way. 
I'm yeah. trying to hurry up and come on over. <laughs> ain't nobody, I ain't seen nobody say nothing about you tonight. Bet. Come on, let's run it. Yeah. The longer you wait, your ass gonna get drunk. First song, first song you ever made that you felt like was, all right, I'm about to start rapping. Like first song you was like, this one, this one right here, yeah, huh? I can do this. Um. Damn. No, I'm talking about song? when you first started rapping, homie. Like as a kid, I had yeah. a song called Boogie Woogie. No, I, I wrote a song called Boogie Woogie, man. Come on, Boogie Woogie, come on. Come on, Boogie Woogie, what's up? <laughs> come on, Boogie Woogie, Boogie Woogie, Boogie Woogie. I still remember that song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you say that one. <laughs> hey, but that but that that was like one of the first songs that I remember writing. I'm like, man, I want to be a rapper. Like yeah. that was like one of the first songs, but shit, on some, on some, like since I started recording, like one of the first songs that I felt like really started having potential and I started seeing results and shit, I had a song called Bands On Me. It was produced by Southside. So, you know, like back in yeah. the day, Southside was one of the first niggas that I, he was like the first industry nigga that I met. He had like yeah, eight Southside followers. Southside got a good name. Man, on Twitter, like I literally. Great name. I used to do, I used to do graphic design and shit. Yeah. So I did some graphics for Southside. I traded him some graphics for some beats. I'm like, shit, let me design your Twitter. I'm gonna design your Twitter page. Give me some beats. So he gave me some beats. Then I I, I did the Bands on Me song, and then that led to me doing because he was with uh, like Lex Luger and shit at the time. I did the same. Southside told Lex Luger about me. I'm like, shit, Lex, I do some graphics for you. I just give me some beats, nigga. I I fucking did some graphics for Lex Luger. Got some beats. I took the beats that I got from Lex. Made a whole mixtape out that shit. Got down Boys in the Hood. Dropped my mixtape Boys in the Hood, nigga. I got down. Nigga, this back when I was goddamn, I was hitting licks and shit though. I got down, I got some money, got a couple racks. <laughs> nigga, I gave Trapaholics like a thousand dollars to host a mixtape. Then I gave live mixtapes like a thousand dollars to put that shit on the front page. And my just career just been up ever since. So really, it was just all plays you made, just like mm -hmm. all started from some. Hey, I got something for trade. Exactly. I might not got the money for you. You know what I'm exactly. saying? But I got some I got shit I can trade yeah, exactly. you on. You know what I'm saying? That's I know you valuable. want some graphics. Let me just get some goddamn. Let me get some beats. Damn, that had to been dope, right? Like right there, yes. you trading graphics changed your life. Hell yeah, that's crazy. If See, you really niggas, look niggas at it, right? Hip. Niggas ain't even know I used to do that. Look, yeah, See? bro, like to trade just for some graphics and like not even know where that shit's about to take you. Right. You know what I mean? That shit's dope right there, bro. I ain't going front. Yeah, yeah. You really yeah. moving, my nigga. You really are. How did you uh? How'd you link with Free Band Gang? Like, how did that even? That shit was so crazy. I fucking I met that nigga on UStream. He was dropping the True Story mixtape. UStream. Yo, it was like a it was like a uh, it was like a Twitch. It's like a Twitch back in the day type shit. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't hit. So nigga, I get in there. I, I I get on this Ustream. I'm coming in there. I'm like, shit, what's up? I'm trying to be free band gang. Like, nigga, he he had the song. It, it just dropped the the uh the second song on the CD. It's called Free Band Gang and shit, though. I heard that song. I'm like, yeah, I want to sound with this nigga. Like, this is what I want to do. I want to be with him. Like, and then he went on live with on the Ustream shit. I'm coming. I'm like, shit, I want to be free band gang. That nigga was like, yeah, you free bands. Love. But he talking to me like on some fan shit for yeah, real. Yeah. But nigga, I took it and ran with it though. Like I got down, I I seen one of his niggas that was a DJ and shit though. Nigga DJ is seeing he actually knew Future. So I wrote him on the side like shit. You just seen Future tell me I'm free bands. What's his number? He gave me his number. I got down call Future. I'm like shit. What's up? I could tell he don't even remember who he even talking to. Like yeah, this dope boy. You told me I was free bands. What's up? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That shit, wow, bro. That shit crazy. You kind of like push yourself <laughs> on that shit. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's some real shit right there. Too many niggas. He said, nah, nigga, I bullied my way into the situation, nigga. Hey, For real, bro. And I swear to God, bro, I call that nigga all the time, bro. I'm leaving songs on his voicemail. I'm playing songs on his voicemail, all kind of shit, like relentless. And then we ended up getting the same message. That had to get fucking annoying, yeah. bro. For him. Like, I know I just... was irritating as fuck. I know I get on his goddamn nerve. Man, what? I'm a nigga leaving songs on your voicemail? <laughs> Man, I wish a nigga would leave some songs on my voicemail right now to this day, bro. I'd be pissed. I'm telling you. I know I'd be pissed. On everything. Man, bro. bro, I know I get on that nigga nerves. Yeah, but that had to be how long did you do that before he said, all right, fuck it. This nigga Man, for... it took, it took, it took like for he really, really like it's so crazy though. Nigga, nigga, I actually got him to, I got him to do me a favor. I'm like, shit, I, I actually got him to answer. He answered the phone. I'm like, shit, bro, do me a favor. Can you do me a skit real quick? Let niggas know I'm free bands. Like, 
he got done. He really did a skit for me. Like he he left he left me a voicemail so I could put it on my mixtape and shit. He did a skit for me. Matter of fact, you got down, go listen to the Boys in the Hood mixtape I got with Lex Luger. Shit, I got a future skit on that bitch. I'm like, shit, let the world know I'm free bands. He snapped that shit though. But he still wasn't taking it serious because I wasn't really free bands. Like, I wasn't a part of their label. Like, I wasn't like, you know, he just was just like, all right, you free band game. Like, but but then as time went on, like I said, we ended up having the same manager, Propane. So he he like he linked it all together. Like he really made it official. Right. I, I still remember to this day. It was 2012. I got down. I was I was motherfucking shooting a video. I had a video with Lil Mouse back in the day. Lil Mouse who had the Get Smoke song. Yeah. So he he was going viral at the time. So I had the video with Lil Mouse. I literally get done shooting that video. I come in the house. My phone ring. Propane calling me. I'm like, shit, what's up? He's like, somebody want to talk to you. Put Future on the phone. He's like, you ready? Hell yeah, I'm ready. Nigga, let's go. And then it was just history from there. And then then a couple months later, like, cause that was the end of that was the end of 2012. So like a couple months later, like around March, at the end of shit, it was damn, that was a couple days after my birthday. I got locked up and shit. That was when I caught the case, the little robbery shit. And then when I had um So you talked to him after you got out before you went. So 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 I talked to him before I went. Okay. So I end up so a couple a couple months later after I did the whole little free band shit, mind you, I ain't signed no paperwork or nothing yet. It was just like a you free a stamp. Band. You yeah, just got yeah. the stamp real quick as an so, authorized dealer. And pretty then much. Fucking uh I end up catching a little robbery charge and shit and I bond out. So when I bond out, I'm like, all right, I'm fighting this case. Let me get my paperwork so I can just show my judge that I'm really a rapper and shit like that. So that's how I even ended up getting my contract and shit, because I really wasn't even going to probably do no paperwork or nothing. We was just on some gang shit. But I ended up doing my paperwork because I wanted to motherfucking do the, uh, you know, show my judge like I'm really a rapper. And then I was out for a couple months and shit. That's when I really started hanging with him and shit, though. And then I just started seeing life for real, though. Like, But but even, it's, it's so crazy, though. I, I, I even got to give respect to a nigga like Soldier Boy and shit. Like, Soldier Boy was really the first nigga to ever like, like, come on, he flew me out to his house and shit like that. I stayed with Soldier for a couple of days, and that's why I'm like, damn, well, I'm really he doing really do this be shit. the first for a lot nah, of he shit, be bro. On that he, shit. He, he be, be really be on, on that shit. shit. I he said really this be before about that. Nigga. He don't even be capping about that. part. He don't be capping nah, about that part, bro. That. Like I, I gotta give it to the nigga. Mm -hmm. And it's so crazy. I respect. I'm like, damn, I'm out on bond for a robbery. Like I'm really this back when I was, I was in, the, I was in it. Like I was, I was tweaking. I'm like, you just gonna let me spit it out in your house? Like, this nigga just, and I really just in this house just thinking like, man, man, I can go crazy in this bitch if I want to, for real. Like, this nigga soldier, just, you got a real live criminal in your house. Goddamn, you can look at the video. It's a video that came out, everybody was making jokes about it and shit. It went viral a, a little minute ago and shit. It was me and soldier in the house and shit, and you could just see my eyes just wondering, they like, yeah, he looked like he ready to steal something. <laughs> that shit funny as hell, but <laughs> but uh, I you know I respect Soldier though. He did he he embraced the nigga, he embraced the nigga. But then but like I was saying though, like when I was out on uh on Bond and shit, I really started seeing this rap shit. Like I did the Soldier Boy shit. Then I really started hanging with Future. Like we All Star Weekend, we motherfucking that fucking um. This one South by Southwest was crazy. This is one of the craziest things I, I remember too to this day. Like even looking to a, like how a nigga like Travis Scott is. Yeah. Like I'm looking at how big he is, and and I remember the first time I saw him, nigga Future was about to go on stage at the the Fader Fort. Nigga, we backstage. Nigga Travis Scott run up, mind you, he runs right past Future. He run up on Casino, like nigga, Casino, you my favorite rapper. I'm like man, that's fucking. Crazy. That's like, crazy. Man, <laughs> that's fucking crazy. Still to this day, I'll be like, man, damn. When I look at Travis Scott, I'll be like, man, damn, I remember you was just goddamn. And, and that shit just show you, like, if you really work for this shit and you ain't no, the sky's the limit to what you can right. do, man. That shit crazy. Real man. shit, but, homie, it really yeah. is. How was you in a Future's relationship? Like, you feel like it's solid, like, to where y'all, you feel like y'all brothers, or do you feel like yeah, it's just, you know, Y'all yeah. do good business together, and it all just ended up working yeah, out because you we, pressed we, yourself through the situation, love it's one. It's the other way around. <laughs> we brothers, we don't give a fuck about no business. Like, we don't yeah. even talk business with each other. Like, yeah. feel me? We don't even do that. It's yeah. just straight on some, you know. 
That's that's my twin. Like, well, why I ask that is because the way like you kind of muscled the situation mm-hmm. from the very beginning. Yeah, like yeah, see, it, see, it started off, but it it ended up becoming a thing where he really grew to love me. Like he really, yeah. you know. So it's like. Is is family now? Like so, it, it's great. It started like that. Yeah. Like also, yeah, this nigga just like way he finessed his way in the game, <laughs> but it really it become a thing. Like, cause you gotta think about it. Even like like the free band shit. Like everybody from Atlanta. Like majority of the shit. I was like one of the like one of the first people to be from another city to join free bands and shit. Like. So it, it's just he really took a nigga in and really just grew. How about the rest of the shit. squad? You feel like they embraced you fully? Hell yeah! Don't mind the man. What? For sure, nigga. Nigga went out like even when I motherfucking like I was saying when we was at South by Southwest, right? This is when I first start hanging with them niggas, motherfucking like Future got his brother Mark and and, and Nick Valley and shit though. So we got down, we in the hotel and nigga was sleep in the hotel. We like shit. We, we was on some fraud shit. Like shit, let's hit his pockets while he sleep. We hit the nigga pockets while he was sleep. That was my niggas. We clicked instantly. That's <laughs> so, so we just been locked in on my brothers. Hell yeah, it's a family thing. This shit on my face. Show. Sure. That's dope that you feel like, hey man, you know y'all close enough to. I mean, obviously y'all busting shit like that. <laughs> like he's uh-huh. like, man, we clicked instantly, nigga. Uh-huh. Shit, we hit a nigga pockets. Like <laughs> that's no, that's love, homie. That's love. Uh-huh. You be making a lot of music with him. Everybody come together, like to hop into the yeah. lab and just kind of yeah. feed yeah. off each other energy. And do y'all just kind of do y'all thing, you know, solo? And, hey man, I meet you at the club tonight. It be it be both ways. Like shit, yeah. when we in the studio together, like shit, I got songs with everybody, even to the niggas that don't even really rap for real, like. Uh, you feel me? I'm 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 one of them niggas. I'm for the gang. Like I do this shit for my gang. Like so, mm-hmm. like shit. Anybody I see want to do something, I get anybody a feature. You got the, you rep this bird shit. I do songs for everybody, top to bottom. I don't give a fuck who you is. Like this is family at the end of the day. You feel me? I do whatever I can to help you. Right. So, and this is how it's supposed to be. Even the niggas who ain't even really artists or none of that. I'm doing songs with everybody, the whole gang. And that's how we all is. Future do the same thing. Like we all do that. Like we all just, you know. There's a. <clears throat> there's a there's a tweet that's going viral that I want to talk about, man. You Which one? Saying? I believe it's the one where he's saying that uh, better than Tupac. The future better than Tupac. The future better than Tupac. Facts. That's that's a fact, though. Like, I really believe this, and a motherfucker can't argue with me because at the end of the day, it's my opinion. And you got to understand, I'm 29 years old. I don't even like. I love Tupac, but I don't really know his music enough to like. I love him as a person. Right. I love his personality. You you was taught to love him and didn't even really know yeah, why. Yeah, like y'all just trying to force music. the Tupac thing and, on a nigga. And I like, understand that. That's like I everybody said. in my generation, like y'all forced that shit on us. Yeah. We know future. Like so, like I can name you a million future songs. Goddamn, I can name you a couple Pac songs, but shit, not saying like to uh, another nigga. Uh, they about to dog me. They about to crucify me in the comments because I even just said this, but I don't get no fuck. I stand on that. I believe it. Like, I think it made March Madness. How can you not say he better than Tupac? I love Tupac, though. March Madness is dope. Listen, man, I'm a big Future fan. Like, love his music. Listen to a lot of it. Like I told you, I've been listening to him since, man, astronaut status. You know what I'm saying? Pluto. Mm-hmm. I've been listening to all his joints, bro, throughout the years. You know what I mean? So... I'm not taking nothing from him. I'm just like, Pac, he passed away at 25, man. That's man another that, reason. That's he another left, reason. He, and, and, I mean, he left a lot of music behind. He didn't do but enough. I, but, yeah, I, I don't feel like do he was enough. here long enough to push that to enough. where we can even, like, put them in the same category because Future has been able to go on, yeah. you know what I'm saying, and create music for years and seems like more years to come. You Thanks. know, as a Pac, he wasn't. He, ch- he checked out on his church. He gone. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's... They, man, you know what's they, crazy? If he's still out here, probably still be going crazy right now to this day. I be- and I believe that the conversation may be a little bit different because his relevancy of him being alive would stand for something a little bit Not, more. I don't think the conversation still be... It wouldn't be different, though, because he'd still be, he'd still be better. Well, I, I, I look st- at it like I, this. I still be... I still well, be. I, I look at it like this. Even with Future... You give it another 15 years, hell, maybe even 10. There's going to be a bunch of kids that are coming up to be like, we don't listen to Future. We don't even, I mean, he's cool. We respect him because yeah, we no, understand. For sure. For sure. But I don't sure. know none of his music. They might not I know, future, exactly. I know such fact, and such though. music because somebody will be in Future's place. So it's all it's all a domino effect, homie. 
Pac was there first. Here, boom, here comes a nigga like Future. Then, boom, here's going to come somebody behind Future. Everybody's going to, somebody, bro, the, the throne's going to change. Facts. That's true. It's going to change, bro. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I understand what you're saying. Like, why you like, hey, I feel like Future is going to be some new little niggas that's going to come up and be like, I don't want to hear that shit. I don't listen to him. Be like, yeah, yeah but sure. I can tell you whoop de whoop in every one of their songs. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And they way better than Future. Mm -hmm. And the, pff, shit, Pac, he won't even be a fucking. A question. He's really gonna be out the question. He's gonna really be out the question. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so this goes to show how the music game really does change hands. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's why fair. I'm not I'm not tripping off your theory because I feel like I love listen, homie. I fuck with Future, my nigga. I've been listening to Future a long fucking time when he first came out. Shit, nigga, he's with the Dungeon Family. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I yeah. know a lot about bros. You know what I mean? But to say that he's Better than I mean, you talking to a nigga that did grow up on Pac, homie. Yeah, you know you what I'm saying? Like you so just love Pac. I, I listen tell. to you know what I'm saying. Hey, I, I, <laughs> hey, homie, I did. Like I, I love Pac. Like I love that era, homie. The Ice Cube era, all that shit. That shit was different. That shit hit different. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? But it, hey, man, it's it's the throne changes hands, homie. So right. I understand. Like, and I give Future his motherfucking flowers. For sure. Yeah, man. That man. And then also. It's always remember that man made me rich. They can't tell me nothing about him. Exactly. So you have to think about yeah, it, me, dope yeah. boy. So you got to think about it. You got a different type of loyalty and different type of outlook to it because yeah, he did make you rich. Yeah, he put you on. Like so, yeah, of course you're gonna speak like yeah, that for and, your but, brother. But even if I wasn't though, I still feel the same way though. That's why I signed with him because he was my favorite rapper. I want that was something I manifested and that I really wanted he, to but do. But we have to think facts. about this too, though. And for the people that are probably like, that's not their favorite rapper, right? Because he was one of my. Hey, bro, he's he's definitely in. I'll say he's definitely in my top ten, for sure. Like I couldn't go without saying his name because I didn't listen to a lot of his music throughout the years. But I mean, as, as I just feel like, man, Pac, that nigga came right, bro. His music's you gonna be. Know. And I'm not yeah, saying future not gonna be timeless. That's a, that's a fire nigga. Like I, I like his personality. Like that nigga be on bullshit. Like that nigga don't give a fuck about nothing. I love that about him. Go ahead, man. Take a sip, man. You, you, I ain't future, see you sipping, man. What I'm about to. Hey, bro? hey, man. Hey, I'm just learning. Hey, take my time through okay. the church. Right. <laughs> I'm, sure. I'm right here with you. Like I said, hey, I, I love future music. That dude right there is talented. He's he's a he's a goat of his kind, man. He's I, I respect it. But I'm just like, man, shit, there's a lot of... If, if that wasn't your favorite, let's say that wasn't your favorite rapper, could, if we look at it from the way things landed, could we still say he's number one right now? Yeah. Hell yeah. Anybody that tell you that. I, I mean, majority people would be like, Future is the best rapper ever. Like, a lot of people are going to agree with me. Like I said, I love Future too, but I'm looking at it from how it's, there's a lot of heavy hitters out here too. You know what I'm saying? Which he's worked with. Can't even say I can't even say that he hasn't even came together with some of the people that I have in my mind. Drake being one of them. You know what I'm saying? Them Drake, niggas have done Drake, fucking song after song. Drake is you. Uh, that's an, you can't argue. Right. With, that's, that, that's why I was thinking that. That's why I wasn't so quick to jump the gun. I'm like, damn, I want to put my. My hand out there and extend it for future and be like, yeah, but I feel like I'm gonna get it cut off. I still, I mean, I still. You supposed to though, Church. Yeah. That's why I ain't mad at you. Like you supposed to, bro. Oh, Let's talk subjective. Drake is a problem. <laughs> Drake is a problem, that is bro. A fucking problem. That's all I'm He's saying. Different. Drake is different. Drake is a damn problem. It's different. That's a fact. Speaking of different, what's been going on, man? With the man, you got beef with Sada, baby? What's been going on? No, you know what's so crazy? Me and Sada good. Like, me and Sada good. Yeah. No, I had around the time when all that shit was going on, I went to Detroit. Like, yeah. I'm a fucking, I was out there, I was shooting a video with Babyface Ray. Shit, I went to Detroit and shit. Nah, shit. Had his people pull up on me and shit. I was at the studio and shit. I pull up and shit. Let's figure it out. Shit. And we chopped it up, and, you know, really came to terms. Like, all right, boom. Shit, man. Cool. Like, that Where shit do you on. feel like it had stemmed from originally? Like, what was the. Um, the tiff was it just some bullshit, just social media games, it, it, or was it? Cause, cause it really just like, you know, what happened happened, and I never like, you know, even before it even came to the light, that shit was like a year before that even came to the light. Like I never wanted it to be in the public. I never wanted it to be trash. That was like it was sometimes. it was some shit going on behind. Yeah. It. Like that was a, a real situation. So it was like, you know, I don't I don't talk about shit like that. Like it shit like. 
I got stories for days if we want to talk about that kind of shit. Like, you know? yeah. but I don't, I don't bring that shit to the internet. I keep my business or right. like keep whatever a nigga to see or what goes on around in the streets. Like that shit stay where it's at. But yeah. it was just he even admitted it to me. Like he 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 had DM me. He apologized. Like he apologized to me. Real nigga said, shit. Yeah, I respected it though. Like he like I was tripping. Like he knew he was tripping because you never should have. He 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 knew he shouldn't have said that shit on the internet, cause it was it was on some shit like a page that posted, um, who you want Doughboy to uh do a mixtape with from Detroit? Cause I had asked that, so I was about to that do, shit would be hard. I was you and I was, him. I was working on a, I was working on a project with uh me and Face was we'd be cooking up and shit. We had like a, at the time we you had some shit going. Right? Yeah, yeah yeah. So so I really was just trolling, just trying to see like what they was gonna say and shit though. But then the fans is on there saying, Sada baby, Sada baby. He responded to, he like, no, nah, never. He responded to another fan, yeah, no, nah, like on the same comment, on the same post, like he responded to two different things. That's greasy. I'm like, dang. That's, that's <laughs> greasy, like, yeah. Damn. And of course it's going to make you feel a certain type of way because obviously he's putting it out there. He's mm -hmm. putting it in the comment section where the world can see the yeah, like, hey, right. so why you? It, it ain't like you, he slid it to one of your homeboys. You heard from one of your one of, We was just sitting down one day, and he was like, nah, I don't think you want to fuck yeah, with facts. it. You can respect that, but when you put it out to the world to where you even letting the sucker see this, mm -hmm. it'd be a problem. I mm -hmm. feel it, bro. I know that feeling of where I can feel that way too. Like that's low key. That's some grease ball shit. Yeah, my nigga, I was, like, I was salty. Like I'm like, damn, bro, why you do that? Like you ain't even have to say nothing. You ain't have to even fans. say that, Like bro. you ain't got to say nothing. Like just keep that between. So now, all right, you want to do that? Then that's when I like aired the situation. All right, then we just got that. We was going back and forth doing the whole thing. But, but, but like I said though, like shit, nigga went to Detroit. And shit, I was in Detroit and the motherfucker I got down. Had some people like some niggas really got to stepping in and like you know. Uh, shit, pull up on me. Let's figure it out. Like I was trying to link with him and all that. Like we was trying to, you know. And we end up, we figured it out. Like, you know. And so, like, real like nigga I said, shit, man. Man, like, like, I don't got no problem. Hey, that's live though. I like yeah. the way you explained it though. You kind of like, yeah, like nigga, we linked up and we yeah, linked uh, up, uh, nigga. It was what yeah, it was. Like, I, I, and, and that's some another thing. I never put behind. that on the internet. I never yeah. got down. Never said nothing. Like I got down. I was in Detroit. Well, I, I appreciate you coming and dropping yeah, it right thanks, here, man, and man, dropping thanks. that jewel. Yeah, that's the first and time I even told him. But letting niggas know, like, hey, man, you just handle that shit. Like, not everything needs to go to the internet because look how it started on the internet. It makes it worse, bro. Mm -hmm. When there's a problem, get it's that shit egos. offline. Now it's egos. Now it's involved, egos, right. bro. And like I said, I feel like you felt disrespected because he didn't care or mind to put it out to the world. And nigga, you gotta remember, suckers watch this shit too. Thanks. Nigga don't be wanting to hear that shit and, and moving that shit along, even if you didn't, you was just trolling or just even joking exactly. around. Nigga ain't gonna take it like that online, homie. It's gonna make it a lot worse than just a nigga sitting there linking up and just talking about it and taking care of whatever business. If y'all walk around Facts. the corner. Cause we, we it, it, shit get, and that's what everything in life, like nigga, if a nigga just, a conversation could go a long way. Like if niggas just, have a conversation, shit, cause that shit will fix a lot of shit. Like, hey man, it, everything I swear be to misunderstandings. You. One of my partners said that he said, "Man, communication is everything." He was like, "Man, you got to conversate." Too. Man, he said, "Anything can be fixed and resolved, homie." Before I has to just go to violence, and I ain't gonna lie, he's one violent motherfucker. Yeah, that says yeah, this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Real violent nigga. Right. He be like, "Man, I try to tell people, like, man, we can talk about it first, cause if it gets pushed past it, there's no going back." True story. So I, I understand it, homie, and I get it. Speaking of relationships, man, you and uh, your relationship with Thugger. I love Slime. Slime, Slime, he played a so part. Say, let's change it over. I got you, Jerry. We'll take it to a good, he, positive. He, 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 he played a part in changing my life, so you know I always going to have a certain type of love with Thugger. How y'all link up? Um, Pluto. Fucking, we was in the, uh, we was just in the studio. You know, he used to be at our studio all the time, every day. And it was just one of them type of things, and he motherfucking, he, I had a song called Minivans back in the day. That was like the song that got me popping. That's when everybody started fucking with me for real. Yeah. He, he, he posted it on his page, like not on his story or nothing. Like he posted it on his real page. Mm -hmm. I was like, this nigga brazy. And that shit went up. Like, so then now here come, now Diddy following me. Now Meek Mill following me. Now Drake following me. Now Nicki Minaj liking this shit. Now I got down. You know what I like um, about you, dog? Honestly, cause you mm -hmm. press shit. 
<laughs> like you press the issue, homie. That's all yeah, I like about yeah, this that's, nigga. That's, I do that Everything all Everything in his entire story right now. Everything is, I do is, is out here. Yeah. You pressing the issue, and this is what I try to tell people, man. I don't hey, got no pride. People want to know, and I, I listen, homie. The secret to getting on, and people, it's not even a fucking secret. You, but people need to know you have to be willing to go places other people aren't willing to go. You mm -hmm. got to be willing to do certain shit. I'm gonna ask. All you can do is tell me. You no. know what I'm saying? Yeah, like pressing, like sometimes you gotta press the issue, homie. Like you're not just gonna get it easy. But I said this shit earlier, homie. Us, like over here in America, we lazy. We, we're naturally human. Yeah, race if you wanna sit around, lazy. closed mouths do not get it's fed. Man, like, at all. If you don't you say nothing, move. you not gonna. Niggas be sitting around nonchalant, not get. All right, you just keep your nonchalant ass over there. I'm asking. Man, I ain't about to sit so, there bro, and complain. Can you post this for me? Yeah, I'm not yeah, about to. I'm coming through. What's up? Bro, I'm not about to sit there and complain about what they ain't giving me. I'm about nigga. to go out there and go get mine, my nigga. Nigga, I got them. Nigga, I, I asked Slime one of the soon as, like, it was like one of the first days I met him. Probably like, I probably, I mean, probably the second day I met him, I said, hey, you want executive, executive produce my project? He's like, shit, come on. I'm like, damn, that was easy. Yeah. <laughs> down and, and did a couple songs with me and really I got a project called 88 Birds I did with TM88 produced by TM88 Thug is an executive producer on there like if you look at the cover is he on my cover and everything like he really was you know he on a I got a couple songs with him he really did it too like yeah. he, but I hate seeing what he going through and shit that shit fucked up like you know just he don't deserve that you know a nigga don't wish jail on no man but like you said, and they do that to anybody, bro, when you're getting bread. And I feel like that's what happened with BMF, right? It's the same mixture. Once you start saying this a gang or you, you say it in any type of mixture, that's turning Rico off the dribble, homie. Mm -hmm. When niggas is just like, hey, we're just friends. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers just throwing parties. Like, we're just a bunch of friends throwing the party. We're just party goers. You know what I'm saying? It's better that way. Once a nigga starts saying, hey, we're one this the gang. Mm -hmm. That's why it's best, like, and it's not under any type of music type of mixture, which I feel like Big Meech, he did try to hop on that, but I feel like it's kind of too late, right? What you think? It's kind of too late to hop on that. Like, Free Band's been since the beginning. Like, that's been a label. It's been everything, right? Right or wrong. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, if you're going to do and that. And that's all it is. <clears throat> And that's and that's all it is. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like it's it's selling as entertainment. It's it's entertainment. Mm -hmm. But when you got niggas really pushing it, like, and you got other niggas, like, which you can't even control it. <clears throat> so I can't even knock like people who have these type of organizations of music and things like that. You got niggas in the streets that don't even got nothing to yeah. do with it, yeah, claiming they, it. Yeah, exactly. Look how you came in. Exactly. Think about it. Exactly. Like you just got a cosign of just like a, and you was like, shit, nigga. I know he didn't really put me on at that time, but shit, him saying it, I'm running with it. Facts. You know what I mean? So, it's like a, it's like knighting you. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? <clears throat> it's and it gets fucked up because. The YSL gets blamed for how a lot of dumb young dumb niggas was acting. Exactly. And they ain't even gotta have nothing and to do with it. They ain't even gotta have nothing to do nothing with, to slime do with it at all. Like. At all. But just because they're saying it. Mm hmm Shit not fair. It's not fair, bro. It's not fair. It's not fair, bro. And I'm with you on that. I ain't even I just like to hear your take on it. You just like me personally, I can't fuck with that. No, and to be honest no. with you, I can't neither. Especially if and this is just a general statement, especially if I know I was screaming it just as hard with you. Mm -hmm. That's what make it fucked up. Mm -hmm. And you know you was in the light as that. Like, it, it, it's crazy to me. Like, nigga, one of my biggest songs is shit, Walk Down. That's the song where LeBron went viral, dancing to my shit. Got down. That's one of my biggest songs that, like, it changed my life, too. And I said on there, niggas faking like they gay and they not slime nor slack. That's on the hook. Like, that's, like, one of the main parts of the song. And it's just crazy just seeing how this shit unfold and then and how they doing that nigga. That shit, it, it ain't fair. It ain't right. I don't like that shit. Like, cause he 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 really helped a lot of people and he really a good nigga for real. You know what I'm saying? It's just just to watch how motherfuckers will do you. Cause I I even I be thinking like, damn, niggas will do him like that. I know niggas will do me like that. And I just put that shit into my own life and I'll be like, nigga, that could be me. That could be anybody. Yeah, so. With that being said, how did you come up with the the oh really ad lib? How'd that come about? Shit, that shit really came about from fucking 
<laughs> I really, I, I got it's it from my niggas. The simplest shit, right? Yeah, to just I, go crazy. I, no, I got, it, I got it from my niggas and shit. Like I just put like two ad libs together. Like my nigga had an ad lib that got down. He'd be like, really, and then my other nigga, he got an ad lib. He say, oh, really? But you know, and, and I just like formed the way they say it, and then I just like, it, it wasn't even supposed to be a thing for real. Like I, I didn't think, oh, really was gonna become like a brand. Like, yeah, feel me, so. Well, it's it crazy as fuck. Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. That's the first like, thing they're gonna say when they see of, me. Like, I'm gonna be real, bro. What I like about your story because a lot of little crazy shit happened to you that kind of, mm -hmm. it was that split second of a moment on me. It started as something as simple as fucking giving, doing fucking art design work for somebody, some fucking graphics, my nigga. Mm hmm. And just end up getting on. What's the luck of the draw, bro, for that? Like, you know what I'm saying? That shit crazy, right? Like, honestly, right? When, when you really look at that shit, homie. Like That's... why? Do, hey, why do people think that you got? Like why do people think you got beef with with Savage? Like what's the? Yeah, that's my nigga. It's it was some shit that happened on. Um, <laughs> we had the Yes Sersky song and shit like a couple years ago. Right. And that's why I asked I, why. Yeah, like, why yeah, yeah. So like... it was it was over the Yes Sersky shit. Fucking um, motherfucking. I, I dropped the, they him him and Uzi had a, the song called Yes Hersky and then I dropped the song called Yes Hersky and Lil Pump did too, so me and Pump dropped our shit around What's like the, the, odds? At the same y time. Y'all niggas call each other that yeah, morning exactly, and tell each other right. what y'all was crazy. gonna put on that day. I never like, I never even I never heard it. I like, never even heard the song. It's crazy. Before. I never even knew he had the Yes Hersky song until after the okay. situation transpired. Fucking um. So so fucking me and Pump. Me and Pump shit was coming out at the same time, but then he had tweeted like some shit like, "I need fifty percent of every song to come out with a yes her skin." Mm. Y'all niggas need a rabies shot or some shit. He said some hard shit. Who said this again? Savage said it. I'm yeah. like, oh, he just came crazy. And then I tweeted like shit. Pump on fifty percent. I'm taking it nothing. like that. And I don't even rap. I'm over here like, like nigga, like, what? I'm like pump on fifty percent. I don't know nothing. Like, and then it it. it it stopped right there for real. Like it, it wasn't even nothing more to it after that. Like it was, it was on some fucking, uh, you know, niggas started stepping in. Like you know, I got a call from like Big Bang Black shit like that. Niggas like, hold on, y'all niggas tripping. Like y'all yeah. can't be doing that. Y'all the homies. Like y'all can't. Y'all better figure this out. Hey. And mind you, Twenty One was my. That's my nigga. Like he, he brought me out on his shows before and shit. Like like our homecoming, he had me on the show. He let me come out perform. Right. Like so, it was, it was. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't even say nothing though. Like maybe, 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 maybe he wasn't talking to me. Like maybe he, maybe he was talking to him. Maybe he wasn't even. Maybe I didn't even had to say. But I just had to make it sure, like uh, because it's just I don't know. But at the end of the day, like me and you know, me I and feel him like good, a nigga like, always know when somebody talking to him. I felt, I felt like, like when it, you feel like that it, nine it, times out of ten, <laughs> you on point, bro. It, it, you got to kind of follow it, that intuition. <laughs> and like you said, you kept, it, you kept it, Gino. You said, look, even if it wasn't for me, I had to double check my nigga because yeah, no, for it, sure, it might have been for me. And if I ignore it, this might, this nigga might think he can yeah. keep doing that shit to me, keep pressing <laughs> me. Like you stop that shit right there no, is facts. what you did, bro. Like no, hold facts, on, like facts, but. Uh, at the end of the day, like he fuck with me, like that's my nigga, like I, you know, I got love for Savage. Mm -hmm. I'm a fucking, I had, uh, I seen him first time I seen him after that. We was at uh, Thug had his birthday party. He had like a birthday party and shit. I seen yeah. him. I seen him. I dapped him up. Shit, what's up? All right, bet. All right, that just really cleared the air. Like, all right, boom, we good. And then I seen him again. Fucking uh, future, future. It was around future birthday. Fucking uh, we was at Dave and Buster's. Drake that rented out David Buster's shit, Pluto and shit though, and I seen him there, and I, I was my, I'm a fucking you know I fuck with like like Harold and Tip and shit Drake nigga. do. Let's rent out David Buster's. He remind me of the new Michael yeah, that's, Jackson. That's like, crazy, hey, come though. on, let's have fun. I'll pay. Yeah, here that. I'll rent out the whole David Buster's. Don't worry, nobody will be in there. We'll yeah. have all the drinks nah, that, and games and, and food true. ourselves. <laughs> He's like that. Like I just, he just wants friends, bro. He just wants friends, bro. He don't care. Like he gonna pay for that shit. No, for sure. Y'all free, right. free band niggas gonna yeah, be like, no, nah, who chipping in? Hold on, <laughs> nigga. <clears throat> no, hold on, nigga. Hundred fifty thousand dollar tab. All you niggas rich, nigga, run that shit. Let's nah, get it. Ass, though, Let's get playing. it, nigga. Yeah, hold on, and there's nothing ass. wrong with that. Like, hold on, nigga. All you niggas rich, put up for this shit. Or is it gonna be knock on me, nigga? I rent Dave and Buster's today. Y'all niggas gonna rent some shit for us tomorrow, nigga. Uh -huh. Like, let's keep this shit moving. Oh, facts, bro. 
No, I see so that. you would, but you were savage. I saw, him, I, saw him, I saw him at Dave and Buster's again and shit too. I I was I was talking to Harold. I was talking to Harold and then Savage came up. This is the first time we actually really talked about the situation. Yeah. I was talking to Harold and shit. And and he came up to me. He like, well, why you do that lame ass shit? It was on some plan shit. I was like, no, why you do that lame ass shit? And then we went from there. Then we started laughing and shit. Like, you know, and then it just been. You know, like that shit. That was the ch- that was the that temperature shit. check. Yeah, we passed that shit. Why you do that lay bad shit? Why you do that lay bad shit? Ah, <laughs> oh, nigga. All right, we cool. We on the same <laughs> That was a temperature oh, check, though. Like, so <laughs> you was going to say something or he was going to really say something. Y'all kind of said the same thing. Like, all right, nigga, we can't be arguing when we're agreeing. You know, we kind of on the same it, shit. No, like, no, facts, though. Like, shit, shit. I'm a fucking... It's so crazy, though, because even when they was they was standing over there and shit, I walked, I walked over there. To to holler at her like I said that's my nigga and shit though I walked over there and shit and yeah. I, cause I really just like you know cause at the end of the day that shit is so petty that shit was so petty and it'd be like and this how real shit start cause you gotta think about it like I'm a gangster he a gangster like I don't be playing he don't be playing so that shit wasn't going end right like so it was like and when you really think about it over what if it would have really been a thing like. So, you know, shit like that, if, if Nick, like I said, that goes back to what I was saying earlier. If niggas just got them have a conversation, it'll fix a lot of shit. Like, yeah. it'll fix a lot Speaking of shit. Speaking of controversial shit, what's your take on the Dirk and YB shit? That shit just, it ain't none of my business. Like, yeah. You know, I just. Do you, you know, think it's, do you think they just trip and they need to figure that shit out, get the, get that shit ain't fast? Ain't nothing to figure out. Blood got spilled. What is it to figure out? Them niggas yeah. ain't dead or pointing no return. It can never get squashed. Them niggas is never going to squash that shit. What they got going on is never going to squash. Well, that's a take. But, yeah, that's, yeah. I appreciate you. That's all I was looking oh, for. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I was just yeah, looking yeah. for a take yeah. on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's your take on like Them, that shit? Yeah, you feel like they friends. should be past this shit, or do you feel yeah. like it might be, like you said, at the point of no return? Yeah. But like I said, that shit ain't none of my. Man, yeah, business. man. Your name, hey man, your name at this point has been Bennett for a minute. Y'all know mm-hmm. you ain't up in it, okay, Church? I, name Bennett, I ain't in it. I, 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 <laughs> hey, I, I get the shit, man. Straight the fuck up. All right, I gotta ask you this one. Cause I like your takes, loved one. You're a real one. You know what I'm saying? And you give you give some good mixtures of this shit, man. You really in the industry, so I gotta know this, man. Do you do you think? Cause you gave me a good take on the, the joint earlier with the gunner. Do you think that Rollo snitched? Um, I gotta, I gotta, I don't, I don't, I ain't really looking to it, like to see like, but I don't think he did. I heard last thing that I did see was that it got cleared up and shit like that. Yeah. From the uh the lawyer, I think academics had posted some shit saying that the shit got cleared up and shit. That would have broke my fucking heart. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. When I seen the allegations even come out in the first place, I was like, I no, not Rollo. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, not Rollo. That's I, my nigga too. I'm yeah. fucking Rollo. That's the homie. I love Rollo. How you know my Rallo? guy? How you meet Rollo? Um, how the fuck did I meet Rollo? Fucking um, you know, you know, you know, Rollo was FBG. Like he was BM FBG. He was Black Migo Gang free bands. Like, Rollo was yeah. I remember Black Migo Gang. Mm-hmm. BMFBG. Yeah. Rollo with BMFBG. He still is. For real, for real. Hell yeah, but, you know, like I said, that's a, that's a good nigga. Rollo, good nigga. Right. Good nigga. So that's so, why you say it would have broke your heart. It would have broke my heart, because that's the, I don't respect the nigga. Like, no. Right. No. Uh-uh. Right. But last I checked, it, it was bull, though. I think it came out cool. You feel like, do you feel like Atlanta's losing that star power right now? No, nah, hell no. <clears throat> Or do you feel Atlanta like it's gonna, still th- it's still gonna thrive? It's gonna always be Atlanta. Them niggas, man, you got niggas like Lil Baby and Future coming out your goddamn Young Thug, fucking they, they, they are, the whole rap game from Atlanta. But it just seems like them niggas is moving away. Like they're getting away. They're going other places. So That's they're not cool. always there anymore. Like they don't that. gotta be there. They star power ain't they, they always still from there, there. But they still from there. So very it's like, true. It don't even matter if they were no nigga could be fucking. Overseas and goddamn, I'm still a Atlanta nigga, so it's like where I'm at don't even mean nothing for real, cause it's where I'm from. Like this is what I claim, this is what I rep. Yeah. So it's like they always gonna have that star power. And then they got they got new niggas coming up out that bitch too. Like being an um I wanna say you really you are a, an Ohio native. What's your take on uh, LeBron James legacy right about now, man? He's literally the greatest to do this shit. You gotta think, bro. This nigga, how old is that man? Like, that man pushing forty, doing what he doing. 
nigga. What is Donnie? Donnie, he's 38. I love Jordan. I love Jordan, but Jordan could never, man. Jordan, when Jordan got old, oh, he was tripping. terrible. But see, you, hey, and he was. But see, that's what I'm not gonna let you touch on because you grew actually grew yeah. up in that era, so you remember that shit. Like you remember Jordan. You got to see Jordan play, right? No. You never got to see Jordan. See, so you no. can't talk about it then. This goes back you to never like I was about the Tupac shit. You never, <laughs> you never, yeah, it goes but right back to what that. What I he do never, know. Is when Jordan came back and he was number 45, he was a trash can. <laughs> he wasn't. He, he, hey, man, he was washed up. You know what? I'm, I think why Brian he came back. Dead. Look at Brian. You know why he came back? Because the fans wanted to see him play. He was that much of a fucking icon that they didn't even give a fuck. He Come on, this nigga was able to go over and play his legacy. baseball. Just but, because. But he number two, though. Brian number one, but he number two, though. Jordan the fucking GOAT. Like, of course he the GOAT. Like, that's Michael Jordan. But, nigga, that's LeBron James. I love LeBron. Uh, I, I listen. I love LeBron, homie, but I just he feel like better as he get older. I, I feel like LeBron's gonna shine for who LeBron is. I I hate the comparisons because I'm like my, Michael Jordan was a fucking era, homie. He was an era that was out of this world, and I I don't feel like it could ever be imitated. You know what I'm saying? I feel like LeBron did his own motherfucking thing. Like LeBron is who LeBron is. You know what I mean? It's not. I, I just don't like comparing them. I hate it. But I'm like, mm. man, if we're going to have to compare, if we have to, <clears throat> I have to ride with Jordan because he was number one. Yeah, when you compare man. his three look, years. Look, he, he had to jump in. Years. Look, look, he had to jump in. Look, I didn't even know nobody hey, was over there. you have to think there, about man. this. <laughs> hey, and Donnie, am I right? Jordan did his shit in a shorter amount of time, correct? Yeah, like his three years, what he accomplished in those times. Now I'm about to get jumped about Jordan. But he played long. Jump. He just I, just jump, man. <laughs> I watched them both play. Because I, I, I watched them both play. So, like, I've been there for both eras. But I do feel you. I had to ask you because I know you're from Ohio. So I was like, man, what you think on, like, his legacy? He is going as the GOAT, man. Like, he is a GOAT. He will be GOAT status yes. for sure, homie. Like, I've... I'd be a fucking hoe to take anything from his legacy or even sit here and try to downplay his name. I wouldn't even do that to him at no, all. Sure. But when it comes to, like, Jordan, I think... Either one even, of them, though. I think even he would say it. I mean, shit, let's look at Kobe. Kobe still needed to be in the topics. People don't even want to talk about him. I'm like, nigga, he was one of the greats, too. He's a GOAT. It's Kobe Bryant. If anybody yeah. got close to what Jordan was going to be, it was him. It was Kobe. He walked just like him. He moved just he, like they, him. He shot just like him. That need to be him. more of a... They need to compare them to instead game. of trying to compare LeBron and, and Jordan. That's why I say LeBron. LeBron's a big dog. Like, LeBron on some, like, he oh, a big is, man. Yeah, like, he on some... Big man Kobe shit. on some, they, they got that, like, you know, Brian on some, he played different. Like, they don't play alike at all. Like, yeah, that Brian a big man. Like, them niggas, them, them different people. Like, that's... I'm, yeah. They got a different game. <laughs> they got a different type of game. I was a big kid. <laughs> how you know, uh, I think, what's the boy name? Uh, Chopper? How you know him that be claiming uh, the SoundCloud rapper? <laughs> how you know him? I know Chopper. Chopper from, he from. I wanted to make sure it was Chopper. Well, yeah. Just, he from Cleveland, like he from he from the west side of shit. I, I knew Chapo for a long time, and and it's so crazy why I tell niggas all the time, like like even just to see like how Chapo is now, like like Chapo, like you said, like he a SoundCloud rapper and shit like that. You gotta think he it came about because back in the day, nigga, I signed the nigga Space Goes Perp and shit. Space Goes Perp was signed to my label and shit. And when I went to jail, I linked Perp and Chapo together. So that's how Chapo started doing like that dark. So you had your own label as well. Yeah, hell yeah. What was it called, brother? RBMG, Rubber Band Money Gang. Mm. Yeah, Chapo signed to me. Chapo signed to my label too. But fucking. So if so if FBG had failed for you, you still had yourself a plan B already. It was gonna move regardless. I'm 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 I mean I'm always gonna be like I was already my own boss. Like I'm I'm right. coming in the game with my with my own shit. So I just like made it a label. It was like you know it was like you know just you know. I'm like, I always wanted to have my own record label. Like, I, that was going to be the plan. I don't give a damn what I signed to or what I was with. Yeah. I was always going to have my own shit. Like, yeah. but but me and Chapo, we linked up on some other shit back in the day. Like, we was yeah. like, you know, like, he used to have the BBE shit. Like, like that shit ain't no joke. Like, that was my little demons. Like, you know, they we had shit going on back in the day. But 
like you got them, them niggas had a gang spec, all that shit, like all kind of bodies, and you look that shit up, like you'd be like, the fuck. <laughs> nigga really do research on Chapo like and <clears throat> like that for real for real. Yeah. But but you know, at the end of the day, like shit, I love the lane that he in right now. I love the lane that he in and what he doing and shit like that, you know. I I I, I hope he get his break. I want Chapo to get his break so he can, you know, because I feel like he one of the in this underground shit. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, he one of the ones like this this how I found out about no jumper, Chapo. It's crazy. Tell Chopo hit me. For sure. Bring him down, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure yeah. that'd be a good play for him and for you. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll put it together. Yeah, he yeah, live on it, it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. put it I'll together, it man. Yeah, yeah. We come run it. We, we come run that. Chopo, run Chopo had one of the most viral uh, No Jumper interviews. He was on this bitch tripping. <laughs> that shit was the funniest shit I ever seen. Chopo, an idiot. He a fucking how did, how did feel hearing? How did feel hearing your name? On the on the on the monster joint, man, by savages. I was in jail when that shit happened too. He had oh, literally tell he, me the experience. He, like he you really tell he me. really had got off the. I was talking to him. We was on the phone and he was in the studio. He literally made that song right after he hung up from me. Like we was, like it was one of the first times that I motherfucking talked to him and shit too. And he made my savages, but it was just so crazy because I couldn't hear the song and like they didn't have it on the player. Like on the on the on the JP Floor player and shit though they didn't have it, cause they only be having like real albums and shit like that and that was a mixtape. Right. So I didn't even really I only used to hear the shit over the phone, and that shit just it was just crazy though, cause like even when he'd be at concerts and shit, they let me hear him like performing and shit like that over the phone, but I never really got to hear the song in person. Too. Was you out in Ohio, Doctor? Yeah, I was in Ohio. Describe the Ohio system, man. How that shit be that up shit there? Shit fucked up. I was trying to like. I've been trying to get into like the reform shit so I could just help fix some shit, you know, cause the the, the system is just like they be railroad niggas, they be like it ain't right. But you know, I've been I've been I've been hollering at Meek and shit, like trying to figure that shit out and how to really get into the reform shit. But that shit ain't ain't where it's at though. Like, and I'm glad that a nigga finally got through that shit, boy, cause that one was a joke. But the 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 I don't, I don't know though, but I, cause this shit I just seen when I was just in Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> that shit ain't got shit on that shit though. I ain't gonna hold you, cause like they tripping so much. I was I was on Rice Street too, nigga. They tripping so much, nigga. They putting you in a hole and cell, nigga. Nigga, you gotta think like, nigga, when you get locked up and you go to intake and shit like that, you only supposed to be there for like a day. Like you ain't even supposed to. Nigga, they sit niggas in intake for six, seven days. Nigga, it's, they got 20 niggas bunched up in this one cell. You're not even supposed to be fucking sleeping in there. Like, nigga, they got 20 niggas bunched up in this small ass cell. They got a toilet. That bitch don't fucking work. They don't got no toilet paper in that bitch. You can't get no toothbrush, no toothpaste, no nothing. You can't brush your teeth. They only feeding you bologna sandwiches. That shit is foul. Like, it, you got to sleep on the concrete, like on the concrete floor, and they got a metal bench. So sleeping on metal and sleeping on concrete is crazy. Then you don't get no blanket. You got to use your motherfucking whatever clothes you wore in this bitch. You better take that shit off and use it as a blanket and try to make pillows out your motherfucking clothes and shit like that. Like We used to get on niggas for trying to wrap man, themselves up bro. in toilet paper to stay warm. Man, like, bro, you, you I ain't used never seen a nigga do that. Paper, yeah. That's wild. Nigga trying to wrap himself up, bro. Man, what? Paper, what the yeah. fuck? I swear to God, dog. Yeah, I, I never was, seen I that. Hot, I heard bro. that. Yeah, like motherfuckers get into it over that shit. Like, man, what? I never been so thirsty to go to General Pop in my life. I was begging them, please put me on the motherfucking pod. Take me to a pod. Like, I was so happy when they finally took me to a fucking pod. I'm like, thank God. Like, I'm happy as fuck. And then I was only up there for a day and they let me out. Like, man, I could have goddamn did my bit, my little couple days that I had to do. I wish I would have did it on a motherfucking pod. Like, yeah, they kept your ass up in that cell down there because they knew you was getting out. Breaking the nigga. That's why, like, they don't want to really take you No, you, you know what's so crazy? I wasn't even supposed to get the fuck out of jail. They was goddamn, they was trying to keep me in that bitch. They goddamn, my judge denied my bond. She motherfucking said, no, you got violent offenses. Ain't nobody with no violent offenses getting no bond. I'm like, ah, shit. Nigga, she denied my shit, but... You know, we figured some shit out, man. 
figure some shit yeah, out. Yeah, man. You figure no, some it's shit dope out. though that you're trying to like. He's like, man, I'm trying to do something, trying to put some type of reform something up in that motherfucker, cause. It do be ugly like that, bro, across the motherfucker. Hey, that shit's everywhere, my nigga. There's jails that's fucked up everywhere, but it's a cash cow. It's a business, my nigga. That's how they run that shit. They yeah, need yeah. niggas in there to keep the funding coming through. If there's nobody locked up, there's no funding. That means jails will start shutting down. It's a business. You don't see too many jails shut down. Yeah. Think about right. it, because they exactly. keep that motherfucking business exactly. moving. That business they moves. They get paid. Man, they begin like... Forty thousand dollars every nigga that come through that bitch, nigga. Nigga, I think man, I, I, I believe the last time I checked, I believe it's somewhere around along the lines of three hundred a day per inmate. It's like three hundred dollars a day Dang. that you get to house an inmate. That's why they always do like them little like yeah, forty eight hours, and then we'll let you go. Mm -hmm. Like it all costs, man. It's all yeah, bread. Right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It all keeps their jails yeah. flourishing. You know what I mean? Yeah, ain't nobody locked up, my nigga. Shit, we they ain't gonna be having no money. I mean, the police don't got nothing to do up in there. That means it's gonna fuck up a lot of jobs for them. They can't have that. Right. Why you think right. you see a lot of celebrities? They won't even say it, man. That that have invested into the prison system because they know it makes money. So they help house the inmates to make their money back. That's some whole ass shit, though. Man, I wasn't gonna try to put. Yeah, I, look, look, look at your mask. Yeah, but uh, yeah. That's crazy, damn. It's a whole nother. Yeah, no, it is crazy when like the family. I remember I was locked up, man, and um, locked up in Tennessee, and I was locked up like it's a privately owned jail. You know what I'm saying? To where, like, yeah, so where like you know. The lady, like the 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 man and lady, they used to own the jail. Like she used to come in like on Sundays and cook for the whole jail type shit. Like it's, food, yeah, fresh food though. <clears throat> it's a little different, my nigga. Like when they privately own, like they don't be on no. It's a little different. Homie. Yeah, no, 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 for sure, it is. That's yeah, how that's how Lake Erie was. Lake Erie was private own. Yeah, they get. Yeah, no, one hundred. Any new music coming, man? Any, anything you want yeah, to be on the lookout for, man. man? We the new TRO, man. Come on, man. I'm on the What's way the, six nine. Not tell him where the cop, man. I'm on the way June 9th. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hate saying that shit. I'm on the way June 9th, man. Beasy, man. Self-titled. Yeah. So, dope Beasy, man. That's the, yeah. Biggest shit dropping. Everybody get the fuck out of my way. I'm finna step on the whole rap game. I swear. This shit is so fucking hard. Like, I can't wait, bro. Like. Like even to like the features I got on on there, the fucking production, everything, the way my whole rollout is, the way my shit is just about to, man, that shit different. I'm finna be one of them niggas. Like I'm finna be one of the biggest rappers that ever do this shit. That's what I'm focused on. Well, I'm fucking with you, Church. Love, appreciate it. I'm fucking. I'm along with you, for man. the I'm along for the ride with this Thanks shit, for my having nigga. Me, man. No, homie, I appreciate you for sliding. And like I said, man, with your artist, man, hey, link me I'm up put that with together. it. Yeah. I'm finna do it right now before Link, I even yeah, forget. Yeah, man. Link me up with him, man. Link me up with y'all, right, man. Find me with him. Find me with him. I think that'll be dope right there, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, man. Anything else you want to say to the people before we get out of here, man? Is there any last words you want to leave them with? Be easy to album on the way, man. Make sure you please stream my shit. Please, because I'm, I'm trying to goddamn, I'm trying to goddamn get some billboard number ones around this motherfucker. I'm finally about to, I'm about to, I'm about to goddamn, I ain't gonna lie, this is gonna be my first project to actually chart billboard. Like, last, my last album, it it went number one, Heat Seekers, the billboard Heat Seekers, it went number one on there, because I dropped on Wednesday. If I would have dropped on Friday, I would have hit billboard though, but I was going for the Apple Music thing. I had number three album in the world, all genres on Apple Music. So you feel me? Now we coming right back. I don't care about, like, not saying that I don't care about the album music charts, but I'm going for the Billboard shit, so I'm dropping on Friday. I'm doing shit the right way this time. And I hope y'all got down, run my copies up, man. I got to goddamn go for, like, 30K. I'm about to try to go for a 30 piece. I'm about to go for a 30 piece. Hey, man. And the truth needs piece. no support, man. I'm going to go you for did. a 50 piece. Hey, it's, hey, it's going to come, loved one. Just so, stay down for, for it. That's all you piece. can do, man. I appreciate you for coming today, man. For real, sitting down. Thank you, man. My nigga, you better come fuck with this me. One my, this is one of my favorite interviews I did. This might be hey, my favorite one. Come shop with me yeah. again, man. Yeah, for this sure. This is how it's we do in. it, man. You it's shop with in. me, I shop with you, man. Say this is how this shit go. You dig? Say less. The Shark Tank. No jumper. So, one of the Sharpest, ones. Coolest for the books, man. podcast in the world. Hey, Donnie, shoot us out the motherfucking gym. Bow, 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 bow.